At least 51 people dead, dozen more wounded in what is the deadliest attack in Turkey this year. And the suicide bomber? A child between 12 and 14 years of age. Joining me now is the director of the award-winning film, The Making of a Martyr, human rights attorney, Brooke Goldstein. Good evening, Brooke. Good evening. All right. Now, it is absolutely bizarre that a religion, a theology, would, ap would call or use religion as a reason to kill their own children. What is this about? This is infanticide. This is a form of egregious child abuse that has been ignored for way too long. Islamism has been used to justify the premeditated murder of innocent Muslim children and politicized human rights groups, politicians, the mainstream media have been ignoring this form of infanticide. And that is what I argue to be the real Islamophobia, turning a blind eye to the abuse of Muslim children as child soldiers, as human bombs, as human shields. You're basically sending the green light, go ahead, continue using these children with impunity. Just this March, the Turkish religious ministry published a cartoon glorifying martyrdom where the child says at the end of the cartoon, I wish I could be killed as a martyr. Let's talk about the religion itself and the fact that the religion apparently reveres martyrs and this is taught to the children in madrasas. But how is it that they get these children to actually do or commit these acts? I understand some wear suicide vests and others they use remote uh, devices and detonate these devices remotely? Correct. I mean, especially, for example, in the Palestinian context, you have children that are recruited that have Down syndrome, that are physically handicapped, mentally handicapped. Children are given drugs. When I interviewed the Al-Aqsa Martyr Brigades in Janine, for example, they explained to me how they gave hashish hashish to young children so they would be confused when they carried out these attacks. They are preyed upon because they are impressionable. But most important, you have a state-sponsored element where the Islamist media in every single Muslim-majority country, from Turkey to Egypt to Saudi Arabia to Jordan, teach these children on a daily basis to revere shahada, to revere bloody martyrdom. And this is nothing less than a culture of death. What about the parents of these children? I mean, do they, do they actually feed this instinct? I mean, don't they want to protect their own children? It, it ranges. Of course, the natural instinct of a parent, regardless of your religion, is to protect your child. When I interviewed the parents of Hussam Abdu, a 15-year-old Palestinian Arab boy who was recruited by the Al-Aqsa Modern Brigades, he was paid $20 to blow himself up amongst Palestinians waiting online to get into Israel. I interviewed his parents, and they were adamant that they did not support this activity. And in fact, Hussam was told by the Al-Aqsa Modern Brigades not to tell his parents where he was going. And so that is really the crime so here. So wait a fact. minute. So wait a minute. So what you're saying is the kid wanted $20. His parents didn't want him to do it. So then uh, are there parents? I understand there are parents who think it's a good thing for their children to be suicide bombers. Is that correct? It, there's a whole range. I mean, you, you you cannot just, you know, say what all parents think. In every single not. circumstance, it, it, it's a unique case example. There are v circumstances where families, for example, are paid to give up their children. Right. The Taliban was paying up to $8,000 per child in Afghanistan, which is an enormous amount of money uh, in Afghanistan. Sometimes children are kidnapped. Other times children are drugged. Sometimes they're taken right from the madrasas where they're fed a steady diet of hate and indoctrination. And also, we in the West, we perpetuate this. Do you know that the United States pays for schools run by the United Nations in Gaza and the West Bank that teach from textbooks glorifying suicide homicide bombing? So you can make the argument that our taxpayer okay. dollars are going uh, towards the to premeditated that. And murder what I understand children. also, Brooke, is that children are sent home from some of these madrasas with Western dolls to actually behead as a part of the training that goes on in the madrasas. And you're saying that the United States is funding some of these or the U.N. The is funding? States is 
Correct. The United States is funding through the UN agency UNRWA children's summer camps where they are taught to become child soldiers and human shields. I did a what movie a on it. What it's a called nightmare. Camp Jihad. Yeah. All right, Brooke Goldstein. Thank you for your work and thanks for being with us tonight.